For any good introduction in your speeches, presentations, or videos, you have to grab your audience's attention and then immediately let them know the relevance of why they should listen to what you're about to tell them. Seamlessly establish your credibility, state your thesis, and preview your main points. And all of that, as a good general rule of thumb, needs to be accomplished within 10 to 15% of the allotted time you'll be speaking. For five minutes, that's no more than 45 seconds. That doesn't seem like a lot of time to get so much packed in, but it's actually plenty of time if you know how to do it right with the tips and the videos I've created to help you out. The purpose of this video is to show you how to create a concise relevance statement to give your audience a good reason to listen to you and show you how it helps to establish your credibility even when you think you have none. Check this out. The main reason of why you need to relate your topic to your audience is to further arouse their interest into what you're saying and to show how the topic is something they want to hear due to its importance or how it can or will affect them. As a college teacher, I've taught over a thousand students how to use the tips on creating a relevant statement. If the overwhelming majority of those students found these tips useful to boost their effectiveness and grades of their speeches, I'm pretty sure this information can help you too. Did you even realize I just stated an attention getter, a relevant statement, and a credibility statement? Let's start off by diving deeper into the do's and don'ts of how to quickly establish the relevance of your presentation to add to your public speaking skills. Directly after you gain your audience's attention in less than eight to 10 seconds, you need to reveal to your audience the relevance of the information, content, and or material you're going to tell them about and how it can or will affect them. You have to give someone a reason of why they should even listen to you. You need to create a desirable reason, or if possible, create an urgent sense of why your audience should care to listen to you. Think of the relevant statement as a continuation and deepening of the attention getter. It's an add-on to draw your audience into the moment by piquing their interest that they can really get into. Just please don't use the word because in the instant turnoff phrase that makes me cringe. You should listen to my speech because I hope that you find what I'm about to tell you is worth listening to. Ugh, there's so many problems with that statement and even how it was said. Let's assume the speaker just grabbed the audience's attention with an incredible anecdote in less than 10 seconds, then instantly pushed his audience away while at the same time greatly discounted his upcoming credibility statement. Also, did you notice how he ended that statement with an upward sounding inflection? That turned the statement into a wishful question. We'll deal more with those kind of inflection issues in another video on delivery skills linked in the description. The relevant statement needs to be stated with proper inflection. It needs to be short and it needs to tell the how and why of what's coming next and why it's worth listening to. Speaking of worthwhile and what's next, I would truly appreciate it if you could take just two seconds to support what I do by smashing that thumbs up and consider tapping that subscribe button to show me and the YouTube algorithm that my channel is relevant and worthwhile enough to show the tips and advice I provide to others who need it. And it helps my channel grow too. Thanks. I truly appreciate it. To give you a good idea of what a relevant statement sounds and looks like, here's a few possible examples. If you get half as much out of this as I do, you'll be so much further ahead. This topic blew my mind when I first heard about it, and I think you'll appreciate it too. What you're about to hear is something you may have heard about, but I'm gonna tell it from a different perspective. After hearing what I'm about to tell you, you'll be better informed to be able to make better decisions and actions that can make a difference. There's countless variations on how your relevance statement will sound, and it depends a lot on what your topic is, how you say it, your passion, for the topic and the purpose of your presentation, whether it's to inform, persuade, entertain, or one of the other types of speeches that are discussed in the video on that topic, also linked in the description. Creating the right relevant statement for a topic can sometimes be tough and demotivate many people because they think that nobody wants to hear about or even cares about their topic. What may be common, routine, and boring to you may be totally incredible information to someone who's never heard it before. The relevant statement can also be your opportunity to reintroduce a common topic, but from a very unique perspective that only you can deliver on. To come up with a good relevant statement, you just need to find the right words to let your audience know that what you're about to say is interesting and worthwhile to listen to without using the word because. The few key takeaways in coming up with a good relevant statement are this. 
Always consider your audience and what effect your topic can or will have on them. A relevant statement is not just a because statement. It's a how and why moment that you're creating for your audience to be further engaged with what you're about to say, even if you're not a leading authority on the topic. In this next video, you'll find out four easy ways on how to establish your credibility, even if you're not the world's top expert or even knowledgeable about the topic. Remember that my relevant goal is that your success is the worthwhile goal in school, work, and life beyond. I'll see you online soon.